Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy, and I am a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my wellness planner for the week of November the 30th. All right, guys, yes, we are in my wellness planner. Um, and just in case you are new to my channel, when I speak about wellness planners, I uh, do not include fitness in this. I have a completely separate planner that I use for my workouts. Um, I usually post those videos on Fridays, but for wellness, I track things that are related to my mental wellness as well as anything like symptoms or like physical well-being type stuff. I, it, that will make a little bit more sense as I start setting this up. But before I get started, I do want to mention that this video is part of another YouTube collaboration loop. If you're new to my channel, let me briefly explain what that is. So a few of us YouTubers and the planner community came together and we create a theme each month. This month it is pumpkins. And what we are doing is basically referring our audience or viewers to another planner girls video in this loop. And the thought is that you will just go down and continue that loop through all the videos. Cause like I said, every YouTuber is going to be linking another video in her description. So once you see all the videos, you'll know because you'll end back up at the first video you started at. So it's a very cool concept. Basically, it gives a chance to introduce our audiences to other YouTubers in the planner community who may use different planner types. So that way you can kind of get an idea of different planners that are out there um, because there are so many planners on the market. I actually enjoy <laughs> watching plan with me videos for planners that I don't use. <laughs> I just find it interesting and it kind of sparks my interest about plan planners that I may want to use in the future. Um, however, <laughs> Even if it is a planner that you use, it is interesting to see how different people decorate their planner or utilize their planner. So I think it is a fun loop to watch. And I do want to welcome everybody who has reached my video as part of that loop. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I will link the next video in the loop down in my description box. And that video will be a Danielle's video. So definitely be sure to check it out. She always has adorable spreads and I love her commentary as well. So I highly recommend you visiting her channel. Like I said, that will be linked down in that description box. All right. So what are we going to be decorating, right? Well, I mean, decorating with. We know we're going to be decorating this. <laughs> So we are going to be using Chic Fall by Liv Love Posh. Yes, this is one of my favorite books. I'm only going to be able to use it for like a couple more weeks. So <laughs> I need to use it. Um, she actually has come out with some like winter and Christmas books. Um, I will note those down in the description as well in case you're interested. So if you love this book, you might want to pick up more than one and like combine your shipping calls, right? Um, I am an affiliate for Live Love Posh, so you can use my discount code AGWP10 to save 10%. All right, so I'm going to use this set. It is clear stickers. I went with this because of the shading for the month of November is this grayish shading, and I thought it worked well with this palette. Plus, <laughs> I have been going heavy with a lot of the fall decor <laughs> and a lot of my planners recently, um, even for Halloween, it's been some like heavy on the fall colors. Um, I have brightened it up in some of my planners. Do I want to start? Here is all, I'm already starting with some of the, <laughs> what do I do? Um, yeah, so I felt like this would, you know, be cute. I guess with this little edging here, it makes sense to put it here, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to white out any of the lines. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I think today we're just going to let it be. So yes, if you have not caught one of my wellness plan with me videos before, I use, um, like I said, I use this for all of my mental wellness and stuff like that, as, as well as symptoms. This is the Happy Planners Recovery Layout. I think I'm going to have to cut some of this off. Or can I just put this up here? Ah, still gonna have to cut some of it off. Not 
too much, but I'm going to do it. Sorry. But yeah, this is the Happy Planner Recovery Layout. Yes, it looks very similar to a dashboard layout. Um, this side is pretty much identical with the exception of, I don't know if you can see it because sometimes the shading makes it hard, but it is Today I Feel. So you can do that for pretty much, you can kind of interpret that however you want. Um, I've been using it for mood, which I guess is kind of, you know, the primary purpose, at least for like happy planners when they have those on there, they usually label it mood. However, you can say like, if you have symptoms, how you feel, um, like, are you having any type of symptoms? Yes, no, uh, <laughs> so, or, you know, if you're measuring your stress and anxiety or anything like that. So yeah, it is, I'm going to save this little scrap. I might want to use it. So you can use it however you want. I will say if you change it up, I was changing it up. I had, I was using the gratitude layout for my fitness for a while. <clears throat> and the one thing that I was doing is the gratitude layout also has these little faces to track your mood. And I'm gonna have to tear this page out. <laughs> I mean, do that first and then I'll finish my story. Okay. <laughs> so with the gratitude layout, like I said, they, they have the faces. Well, I was like changing up the faces, like what they were for each month. So I want this here, but I need my boxes. Huh. I might put boxes on top of some of these. So that way I still have writing space because it's clear. So, um, but yeah, so I was changing them up based on things that I wanted to like monitor. So like for that one, I was doing like how well was my workout or how did I feel after the workout or how well I ate that week. And um, <laughs> when I was doing my flip through, like at the end of the, um, I did a July flip through for like January through the end of June, I realized I was forgetting at the end what I was using those faces for. <laughs> so I have no idea now. I mean, I guess I can go back and rewatch my videos to figure it out. But yeah, so if you do change it up, I would <laughs> recommend putting a little cheat sheet somewhere about what it's for because yeah, I did a horrible job with that. So before I get too far along, so in the recovery layout, there are these prompts here that are so kind of like prompts on like journaling. It says weekly check-in, which I absolutely love the fact that there's a weekly check-in. I just don't use these actual prompts. I think they're fine and I think they work. I think they work great for journaling and things like that. I just don't use them. So, uh, because this is clear, I mean, not clear, because it's white. So like, I like to like put washi tape over it to avoid whiting out, but I might have to do both. I might have to wipe this out and put washi because I kind of like the stripes. I had the polka dots that would also work. It does a little bit better with camouflage. I just don't like the polka dots as much. So what I'm going to do <laughs> for the sake of time, I am going to white out the prompts. I'm probably just going to use one of my white gel pens to do it just because I think if I use one of my white, um, white out strip things, which is one of these, I think it's, yeah, it's a little bit wider than this strip. So you would still see it. And I don't know that I'm going to put stickers over here. So yeah. Let me go ahead and stop talking and go ahead and wipe this out and then we'll be back to finish this up. All right. So yes, I am done. I just added the little thin washi. That took a long time. So I'm glad I am going to edit that out. <laughs> so I will decide if I'm going to use a box to kind of write my own prompts in. I don't really have prompts. I use pretty much just like single words. I also have created some text where I can just like put the labels directly on there. So if you guys have seen my channel before, then you already kind of know 
or seen this particular type of plan with me, then you already know <laughs> what I track in my wellness planner. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Like that, I don't love. Hmm. All right, I'm going back to this book and I'm gonna go to the back and go ahead and do my boxes. So I'm gonna use, so in this book, there are functional stickers in the back. So you have these blues, but you also have a little bit more lighter blues somewhere. Or maybe not, maybe I'm dreaming. Um, <laughs> so we have these blues. So I'm gonna use these and I think what I'm gonna do is, so we have bullet points, we have boxes, and we have these checklist. These checklists do fit pretty well in the dashboard or the recovery layout. You just have to like, don't line up the top with it. You just line up the actual dot with it. So like if you line up the dot in the row, then all of the other ones match. It's just the very top. If you line up the top to a line, it's not gonna fit. Maybe I should bring it down so it's a little bit more <laughs> in line with the mood. <laughs> Sorry. When I do something wrong, I laugh. And I realized during editing, my laughing is a lot louder than my talking. So I do apologize for on your ears. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just, they don't have any green. So I'm just going to use this one color. For the entire checklist. Now, what I do with these checklists is this is kind of like, sometimes I don't have three separate things, but this is kind of where I write down general things about the day. And I don't mark it in advance because I don't really know what I'm going to need to write. So I write my symptoms here and the daily gratitude spot. So that is fine. Um, and with these checklists, or I don't really use this as a checklist. I'm kind of using this to add a little bit of decor. <laughs> I will say if you line this little checklist up with the bottom line, it seems to be perfect. So that actually worked pretty well. So maybe they do fit perfectly. And I just was doing it wrong. All right. <laughs> so yeah, um, I do change kind of, I write when needed in here and like some of the things I might just write randomly and not really pay attention to the checklist. I'm kind of using the checklist for more like aesthetic reasons to decorate the box area because I do need to leave it primarily blank for functionality. But what I use this for is so I track my stress and anxiety more along the lines of my anxiety, but then I'll note things that are stressful. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the sticker. Um, note things that are stressful that could impact my anxiety, so I'll note it here. So I'll just like write like a little sentence or a summary about like if I was anxious that day, how, how I actually felt, whether it was like an actual physical symptom or just like a mind racing type thing, which I guess can kind of be like a physical symptom, like racing heart or mind racing. Um, but like if it was stressful, even if it wasn't anxious, but it was a super stressful day, I kind of might note that. I also note if I eat really bad. <laughs> because, you know, when you eat bad, it might impact my, you know, something like later on. So I do note that um, if I was outside doing stuff and I, like, I have allergies, I have like seasonal allergies, so I might note that. And then I'm going to put these like little bullet points here. And you might be, if you're like I said, I'm doing this thing for people who might be new. I'm sorry if, if you're a regular, thank you so much for watching. But I, this does become a little redundant because I kind of just re-explain what I use these for. I'm trying to find my tweezers. It'll make my life so much easier, but I seem to have misplaced them, but whatever. 
So this is where I write my energy levels and I track them three times a day. So I track them in the morning, like which is pretty much like upon waking up. I track them around the middle of the day and then I track them in the evening. Not necessarily bedtime, but more like, I wanna say like dinner time, like six or seven to notice like, am I crashing or something like that? So that is what I track here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my little bullet points down because obviously I only need room for three numbers. So that's why I'm putting them kind of over to the side. Do I need bullet points? No, but I have them, so I want to use them. <laughs> um, if I had tweezers, they would be a little bit straighter. Um, I have two pairs, but I don't know where they are. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll be back. All right, so I add up the bullet points. Obviously, I don't have room here, so what I'm just going to do here is just use one of these header boxes and put it long ways. Do I need that much room? I could probably cut it down. Let's do that. And then instead of just, I'm gonna just layer it. It'll help camouflage the sticker underneath. Oh, that's pretty straight. It's not perfect, but it's fine. All right, so that's enough room for me to write my three things. And it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm getting out of frame. These here are for me to stay in frame. <laughs> okay, so where is, okay. So what I was thinking is I could actually put this here to add a little bit. So I might add the white out. Okay. Just adds a little something because that white, that um, washi tape is a little too thin to go here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my header box there. So what I could do again, is this necessary? Well, I mean, I think if you're, you know, like for me, I'm tracking certain things. So I guess maybe it is. However, if you know what you're gonna write, it really isn't necessary. And you can kind of just use this for basic journaling. You can also, if you like this layout, but we're just using it for, I mean, you can use these spaces for anything. Anything at all. You can do meal planning in these spaces for like Monday through Friday at least, because there's five blocks. So you can do that. I just like it. I actually picked this up from Ross last year. I have this one and I have an undated one. The undated one I am planning on using next year for the same thing. Um, this is one, one of the few planners that I'm not changing the actual layout when it comes to my 2024 planner because I do enjoy the layout. All right. This is like a weird shape to know where to put this. Maybe somewhere like this. Sure, why not put this right on the, down the middle so that way I can like have to repunch everything. <laughs> I think it's cute though. Putting stuff there, it does get a little complicated because you do have to repunch and all that fun stuff, but it's like a way to add like, you know, stickers to your page without taking up like extra space. For some reason, I kind of feel like it needs to be sitting on a line. So we're gonna put that there. And then I have a blue pumpkin that maybe we'll put here. See, I feel like that's fine. I guess I can put it down a little bit. It's still gonna take up a little bit of my writing space, but hopefully I won't have anything to write, right? I mean, isn't that the point? I think I say that in all my videos. I, it's, it's possible. 
it is definitely possible that I make it through the week and not have very much to write. So this is a planner that might not get filled in as much, especially if I'm like not having any like symptoms or anything like that. And that's fine. The problem is, is it's not getting them filled in very much, <laughs> but it's not because I don't have symptoms. It's just because I'm not filling it in. <laughs> Tracy's being lazy. I kind of want this here. I don't know why. I just kind of like it. So that way it goes boop, boop, boop. Oh, boop. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, so I need something here. I have one more set of pumpkins that I'm going to have to use because it's a pumpkin spread. Let's use this one. When, when this video goes live, I would have just come back from my vacation on a cruise over in Europe. So that's why I really need to get on my game as far as filling some of this stuff out and kind of getting back on track. However, what I'm going to say is I was not on point for like the past couple of months. Like I will kind of, I don't know about you guys, but like, I don't know like any types of planners where you're tracking things. So like, not like your everyday planners that you kind of have to get into to figure out what's going on or, you know, your schedule, but just things where you might track stuff if you have anything. So you find yourself kind of starting out strong at the beginning of the week. And then by the end of the week, you're like pretty much not in it at all. That's like the story of my life, y'all. And like I said, I think I say this all the time. I will still continue to use this planner because it's not the planner. It's just, me being lazy but I'm gonna continue to do it because I'm determined and my thought process is if I keep doing it one of these days it's gonna become a habit it's gonna become second nature <laughs> and I'm gonna come to you guys and I'm gonna be filling this planner out and I'm gonna be like guys I like am in this planner every day I'm seeing all these trends. <laughs> I'm figuring out why I'm why I'm sometimes having issues. That's that's my goal. <laughs> one day, y'all. One day. All right. Where do I want this? So <clears throat> these habit trackers up here. I've been kind of toying around with those. At one point, I was. I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything off, and then I'll continue my story just to kind of. Keep the video short. <laughs> All right. It's a very blue spread. Um, <laughs> so the habit trackers. So at one point I was using them as habit trackers, but I do like track a lot of my habits and like the corresponding kind of thing. Cause like when you think about this being like a wellness type spread, you're like, okay, well then let me track more wellness type stuff. So like stretching or, you know, certain eating habits or something like that. But I'm tracking them. So it's more, it's more efficient for me to track them somewhere else. Maybe I just want to put this here. But I'm going to have to wipe that out. So let me do this and then I'll finish the story. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to hurry up and not keep you here all day because there's a lot of videos to watch. All right, I think I'm going to cut this at an angle, and then I'm going to finish my story about what I'm... It's not really a story. It's just what I'm using this for. What angle do I need? Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm going to be using these trackers for is tracking health-related type symptoms or something like that. Um, it, so, that's going to change up. It's not going to stay the same every week, but let's say I've been having frequent migraines or something like that. Then what I might do is track, I might write migraines in one and then track the days that I have a migraine. You know, or if I wake up and, you know, I've been feeling nauseous or something like that, then that might be something that I want to track. It's just not going to work, is it? 
Do I just want to put it up here and call it a day? No, I don't. <gasps> so that is what I'm going to do. And I came up with that idea when I was like, you know, thinking about 2024 because I am thinking about 2024. I actually started a brain dump to try to figure out like my planner needs for 2024 so I can kind of figure out what kind of planner to use and maybe how to set it up. Because I feel like this year was kind of like trial and error for a lot of them. But I was trying to figure out how better to utilize this particular planner. Because like I said, I still want to use this for my wellness. So when thinking about the habit tracker and making sure I'm not like just put filling it out to fill it out. I feel like kind of keeping track of certain symptoms and stuff like that might be better than tracking a habit that will be better off tracked elsewhere. So that's what I'm going to do. I will provide check-ins to kind of let you know how that's going. I wish I had some more bullet points because I would like to add some there, but I'm all out of the blue ones. <laughs> um, I might be able to add a checklist. I'll just help bring that checklist over. I like it better than just the gray there. I want a quote here. All right, so there are some quotes here. We have pumpkin spice and everything nice. Even though the theme is pumpkins, I kind of feel like pumpkin spice, it would need to be like the traditional orange <laughs> spread. So I think what I'm going to do is just say fall is my favorite. We'll just do that one. So what I do in this checklist is that's kind of like where I write some self-care activities that I want to do this week. Some stuff like that. So nothing like grand or anything like that. But I do like to like list my self-care activities there. And again, I'm just going to leave it. It's nothing extravagant. It's like take a bubble bath. <laughs> you know, schedule a massage. Not necessarily get a massage. I have to schedule a massage. Um, things like that. All right, let me grab. So I bought, when I bought this Uniball white gel pen off Amazon, I bought the one that came in a pack with these blue ones. I really like it. I do have them linked down in the description. A lot of my planning tools that I use, I do have linked down in the description. So I do have like headers that I made for these, but I'm just gonna do that. Um, I have a video that I filmed a few months ago, I'm probably due for another one, where I showed you guys, took you on the journey of me filling this out several days throughout the week. So I didn't do each and every day, but I did it multiple times a day, including the last day of the week. So you can see how I filled this out. So it was just to basically show you how I utilize this particular layout. Um, Cause I always tell you guys how I do it. But in that video, I actually showed you how I do it. So you can kind of see what I'm saying, put into action. Um, I will have that link down below cause that could be helpful. So sometimes explaining it, it just, it's easier to show you than to explain. So yeah. There we go. Of course, the red discs are perfect for the holiday season, but it's not perfect for this spread. Um, <laughs> I'll have a photo posted on my Instagram account where I'm probably using white disc. So, um, which I guess is my little plug to say, if you're not following me over on Instagram, you should follow me over there because I do take photos of a lot of spreads I do not do plan with these for. My handles on all of my social media accounts, on TikTok and on Instagram is a girl with plans. That's plans with a Z. So it's the same as it is for YouTube. All right, guys. So this is it. This is my, ooh, sticker scrap. <laughs> this is my plan with me video for this month's YouTube collab, which is pumpkins. So I feel like it's pumpkin-y. I would have liked to have more pumpkins, but I didn't want to go overboard. I like the little florals. 
below floor accent. So yeah, um, as a reminder, be sure to head down to my description box to view the next video and this loop, which is Danielle's video. Again, I highly, highly recommend checking out her video because she never fails. Her videos are always awesome. So yeah, I think you will enjoy it. So definitely head down in the description to check out her video. All right, guys. So that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And um, that's all I have for now. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye.